In 12.1, there isn't one single right answer, certainly. One of the first things I would recommend doing is calculate the mean number of plastic per trench. That's a good start. You'll notice most of the values are near 1. But one of the values, Mariana Trench, is highest. Looks different, 3.3. We'll come back to whether that's significant in a moment. But that in itself would make a useful chart. I've copied that data over here so I can make a chart of that data. Do we need to do this? Okay, select it. Get that. So I've selected all six columns and the averages. I'm going to add a chart. But I've only got five columns. You can see at the top the word isubonin and the bottom isubonin. It thinks that the isubonin x it thinks that this is a label so I'm going to have to add a label to let to get all six columns in essence I've got to do a little bit of now in this you wouldn't need to do this if you're working on a laptop this is simply a problem with the app the app won't let me tell it to go ahead and add the Izubon in as a sixth column but if I do this small change now I get all six columns now Izubonin appears on my column and it's using average versus trench and I can update that if I want to it's using average versus trench uh, I don't actually need a legend in this case I'll go down and turn that off and there's my chart that's my chart right there. So, shrink that a bit. There we go. Slide it down. That makes the Mariana Trench look unusual. Makes the Mariana Trench look a little different. We haven't proven that it's different, not statistically, but it sure does look different. And this would be a really good start, and this would be a good chart to include right there. If you want to prove that the Mariana Trench is significantly different, you've got to, first of all, look and see whether it's different than the population mean. And the population mean is estimated by the mean of the sample means, chapter 8.1. The mean of the sample means is the population mean, or at least a point estimate for the population mean. This population, we can take the mean here, You'll see what I did is I calculated the mean of the means. You could also simply calculate that number is actually the same as if you take all of these da -da 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 -da, and all those. If you look at the bottom of my screen, the average of that is that same value. 1.46666, same value. Anyway, that's my population mean. Now I can look to see whether my sample mean is statistically significantly different from my population mean. This is probably the most direct way to go at proving this is an unusual average. There's my standard deviation for the Mariana Trench data. There's my standard error for the Mariana Trench data. There's my T inverse my t critical value, the value, the t critical value. So I'm working towards a 10.2 hypothesis test. My hypothesis, there's no difference between the Mariana Trench and the population mean average of 4.667. The t statistic, if you're wondering what to do with that, that's my Mariana Trench average minus my population mean. The population mean for my all of my trenches is 1.4667. And I'm dividing by the uh, standard error there. I'm dividing by the standard error, uh, sitting in EAT. That value is 2.74. That is larger than the t-critical. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. That means there is a real difference here. The Mariana Trench is statistically significantly different than the overall average of 1.4667. If I want, I can do a t-statistic calculation. Uh, I can use the positive value of the t-statistic in the t-distribution function. Look it up in 10.3. That will get me a p-value. 
You'll notice my degrees of freedom are there. My number of tails is there. I'm using my T statistic here. And that gets me a p-value of 0.02. We typically use a p-value of 0.05. You can see that here, our probability of 0.05. That's our alpha, our risk of a type 1 error. And so we reject the null hypothesis. This, in the, this chain of calculations in yellow, proves that the Mariana Trench has statistically significantly more plastic. A couple other things you could do. Th that would be fully correct right there uh, as one of the ways. Another way to go at this would be to select the data, including the headers. Just the data and the headers. Whoops. Get her back. It's a little tricky to do this. Try again. I know. I've got a problem with that. I've got to get rid of this guy. It thinks I want to select it. These are things you learn as you go. I don't want that value in there. Oh, look this guy. Get it right there. That's what I want. Tap. Copy. Switch. Boxplot R. Data upload. Paste data. Now it doesn't look right because I have to change the tab right there. Now it looks right. One, two, three, four, five, six columns. Data visualization. There's my box box. This shows you that Mariana Trench looks really different. I can even do add the sample means confidence interval 95%. Yes, I can do that. There they are. You can see this 95% confidence interval on the Mariana Trench, the gray bar with the plus being the mean in the middle, doesn't reach down, does not reach down to the Mariana uh, Does not reach down to the other means. That's another option. The box plot, another good thing to look at, helps show you. It does show you that there's some outliers in the trenches. These are outlying values for numbers of plastic particles. That's another option. And not that anybody would have probably gone this way, but a third option, and there are these many other options to explore, you can see over here. Here I've calculated using 9.2 and 10.1, the 95% confidence intervals, lower bound, the upper bound, the lower bound, the upper bound. This chart requires a laptop. You can't do that chart from the app. But these calculations can be done in the app. And you can see that the, the lower bound for the 95% confidence interval for the Mariana Trench is 1.79. That means the Mariana Trench mean pop comes from a population that has a minimum value of 1.79. That is above all of the other means. Therefore, the Mariana Trench cannot come from a population that the other trenches are coming from. Therefore, it's statistically significantly different. That's a key value there. That value. It's too high. That's the bottom of the Mariana Trench values. That's the lower bound. Is above these values. You can see it pictorially here. The Mariana Trench bottom of the 95% confidence interval is above all the other means, which are the horizontal lines that you see here. The horizontal lines here, that's the, those are the means. This is the Mariana Trench. The bottom is above all of these other ones. So they're not possible. They're just not possible for this. So that's a look at some of the different things you can do. You wouldn't do all of them. This would be the most direct way, but this is a good start. It's not, doesn't prove that it's different, but it's a good start. And certainly this is a fine chart to include in your presentation.